Okay, it's it's not so bad out today being windy, but I'm going to show you the tools that I use, the traps that I use, and the location that I'm going to set, and then I'll go and and dig the dirt holes and and get the traps set in there and I'll leave it uncovered and you can see right where I set the trap this is for dirt holes for coyotes cats any animal that comes by you're gonna catch so I mean I use a 18 bolt Milwaukee hammer drill I got a big four pound hammer with spring steel welded on it I make my own washer stake driver all my traps I use washer stakes in it's that one and a half inch pogo washer well fender washer I mean it ain't pogo but I attach three lengths of chain to it at the end of it because sometimes you can't get that all down that's a scepter I've had for eight years. Andy S. off the Trapperman made it for me and sent it to me. And, and I really like the little wisp broom. You get them at the dollar store and that just helps you clean up your set before you leave. And I use a needling pad. I got a big deal of lure and bait. I use insulation for pan covers. I don't care what anybody says. Brown and white or white insulation. It doesn't bother animals one bit. Now if you use pink or, or yellow, any other color, it doesn't work. But this, this has no chemicals in it and there's no smell to it. So that's the tools I use. We're going to walk down here and I'm going to show you where I'm going to make the sets. What this is, is it's a road going alongside a creek. And I cross the creek right down here and come up out of there. And several times I've seen a lot of coyote tracks following the same thing coming up and down this road. This is all on private property, so I'm not too worried about anybody running out here and trying to steal my catch or my traps. There's a few people that have, here in Wyoming that have seen my videos and, and went and set traps right where I always set the year before. and Hopefully I got that problem taken care of, but I'm going to show you where I'm going to make these two sets. Because, I mean, the coyotes, they'll go up to the top of this hill where my pickup is. And it seems like they want to just run through this thick brush, bruck, buck brush. And, you know, they don't keep on going down the road. I got other traps down the road, and I've caught coyotes down there. But there's a few coyotes here that, that just keep staying up here. So I'll show you where I'm going to make two sets. I just I look for something as a backing that there's no way the coyote can get in so I'm gonna make a set right here a dirt hole and then I'm gonna come right over here by the road and I'll chop a little bit of this out here and I'm gonna make a dirt hole set right here so that way I got two dirt hole sets so if I got a coyote or a cat or coon or happen to catch a skunk or something, I always got one set open waiting on another animal. So that road, it just keeps on going down there. This is going to be a two-part video. So I'm going to get ready and make these two sets. And I'll show my traps exposed where I set it at at the dirt hole set you know all these people want to talk about you need to be back eight inches ten inches off to the left right all that well that's to try to get people to 
do it that way and they don't catch a whole lot so I set them dead center with the dog jaw right at the lip of the hole and I don't have no problem catching any animal so I'm gonna go up here and get my two traps and and get the beds all dug out and get the traps set down in there and, and do a little video of how I got them covered and the bait I use because I always use sheep's wool unclean sheep's wool in the dirt hole because there's nothing better to use it's got a smell to its own plus you got your lure bait whatever you're using but it's some pretty thick brush guy can snare it pretty easy but the coyotes they don't seem to they want to run anywhere through that so we're gonna go ahead and get this set up and I'll be back on second part of the video thank you